Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new Destiny video. Guiding Light here, and today we are back with another week of Destiny Zerp Predictions. So in last week's Zerp Predictions, I actually did predict the weapon. I did predict the Bad Juju as one of the weapons being brought, as it was for Festival of the Lost, and I figured that they would bring something that was sort of Halloween related. Now also, Trials of Osiris last week had a little bit of a change, as there was no radar and no revives, as it was sort of like the spooky trials or... Already or some sort of Inferno Trials of Osiris. Now before we get into the Zerp Predictions guys, I'm pretty sure they are bringing that back again next weekend. One of my friends said that he was pretty sure that they were bringing it back. He def Now I definitely kind of liked it, I thought it was different. I didn't necessarily like it because it wasn't as easy as it was normally to go flawless, but don't get me wrong, I definitely did like that change in Trials. And in all honesty, I thought it was a little more competitive and a little easier even at some times, just because it was so easy to get away from your opponents. I really did enjoy it. It's not. It's definitely not good for people that want to carry people or people who are trying to make other people go flawless. But in all honesty, I definitely liked that feature they added. And one more week of it definitely is going to be pretty cool. So before we get into Zerp predictions, guys, since I've been talking about trials so long, let's just get into the trials of Osiris prediction this week. Like I said, they are most likely bringing back that Inferno trials of Osiris. So for the map this week, I think we're going to be seeing another sort of year one type map. I think we're going to be seeing either Black Shield or the. Widow's Court. Now, I definitely did just predict Widow's Court last week, but like I said, Festival of the Lost is still here, and Widow's Court is definitely still a Halloween type map, so that could definitely be the map as well. But something tells me Black Shield hasn't been up here in a while either, and I wouldn't mind playing that bot either, especially with no radar. So, with all that out of the way, guys, let's get right into these Zerg predictions. We're going to start out with the Titans this week. Now, last week you guys got the Eternal Warrior, which is a great looking helmet. It's definitely one of the most exotic looking helmets in the game, and it is pretty cool. It gives you decent stats. Now, unfortunately, we are still waiting on those Dune Marchers, so who knows, this could be the week that he finally brings Dune Marchers for those people that have still been waiting. If he ever sells the Dune Marchers, guys, I do suggest you pick them up immediately if you're a Titan, or if you don't have them yet, you definitely do want to get those Dune Marchers. But for my prediction this week, I do think he's going to be bringing the ACDO Feedback Fences. Now, back in year one, I loved these gauntlets. They were the only gauntlets I really ran on my Titan. Now, don't get me wrong, back then there weren't too many weapons or armor pieces to really run for your Titan. But either way, these feedback fences are pretty cool. Whenever you get meleeed, some damage will actually get shot back to the player that meleeed you and just everybody that's around you. Now personally, I like these gaunt gauntlets for when I run a shotgun or a fusion rifle, because you're really going to get meleeed quite often if you're ever running those classes. You're always super close up to people, and you usually get like a little bit of damage out on somebody, so if they melee you, they'll actually end up just killing themselves. So it's actually pretty cool, it's really funny to like let people melee you sometimes, because they'll think that you're going to die, but instead you'll actually kill them. And it's actually pretty cool, they can definitely come in handy sometimes too. They're not necessarily as consistent as they were back in year 1. I feel like the actual feedback fence perk doesn't really work as often as it used to. But either way, they're still pretty good and I would pick them up if you don't have them yet. They look pretty awesome and they actually kind of breathe a little bit every time that if you ever look at them, they actually are breathing, which it, it's pretty awesome. They do look, definitely look pretty cool. So definitely pick these up if you don't have them yet, guys. And with that being said, let's get into the Hunter's class. So this week, I think he's going to be selling the Kefri Stink for the Hunters. So with the Trials of Osiris, if it still is going to be spooky trials where there's no radar, no revives, I would highly suggest that you pick up these Kefri Stings. It makes you e very easily to go invisible. You just crouch to go invisible, and then your backstabs will do a lot more damage. So if you're running the Kefri Sting during Inferno Trials, you will definitely be at an advantage. And I would definitely suggest picking these up, even for the players that don't have them yet. And if you do have them and it's spooky trials and they if, and they deserve sells them, I would also just be sure to go ahead and use them. Because anytime there's still something, a lot of people do tend to use it that week in Trials. And I would just suggest you go ahead and using those if you're on your Hunter this week. It's definitely going to make things a little bit easier if it is Spooky Trials. So finally, we do have the Warlock class. Now personally, this is my new favorite character. Ever since getting this new shader, Candlelight, from the Heroic Strike playlist while Festival of the Lost is here. If you do want to get this shader, you do will need a Skeleton Key and use it while Festival of the Lost was out. Now, I got it on my first try. I'm not really too sure if everyone else gets it on their first try, but I got it on my first try, so it's definitely not too hard to get. And I suggest you try, try to get this before next Tuesday, before the Festival of the Lost is gone. Now, sorry, I did get a little sidetracked, but the shader is just pretty awesome. But with that being said, guys, let's get into the Warlocks. So this time around, I think we're going to be getting a Void piece of armor. I think we're going to be getting the gauntlets called the Nothing Manacles. Now, these are actually pretty cool because they do add tracking to your Nova. They do add tracking to your scatter grenades, which is a pretty big difference between your scatter grenades killing people and not killing people sometimes. Tracking is a pretty big necessity on those scatter grenades if you're really trying to be affected with them. So definitely pick these up if you don't have them yet, guys. These Nethling Manacles not only look pretty awesome, but they do make the effects of your scatter grenade change quite a bit. And they're almost as good as Axion Bolts at times if you use them correctly. So I would definitely pick these up, guys, if you don't have them yet. 
Now, finally, we do have the weapon, and to be honest, Zer's been pretty kind to us the past three weeks in a row. He's brought us three great weapons, the Bad Juju, the Hawkmoon, and the Trespasser. All fantastic weapons, so I really do hope this week, with the Festival of the Lost coming to an end, he shows us a little bit of love one last time here, and brings us something that we really do love. Now, because it is still Festival of the Lost, I figured why not give you guys three predictions again like last time. It gives me a better chance of getting them right, and it also just gives you a better option of things to look forward to in all, in all honesty. So let's go ahead and just give three predictions again to Festival of the Lost. I will be back with one prediction next week. Hopefully I will be able to get it correct again. But either way, let's get into these predictions for the weapons this week. So due to the fact that it is still going to be Inferno Trials, I do think we're going to be seeing a pretty deadly weapon come this week or time around. Now personally, I've been rocking Fusion Rifles a lot lately, so I would really kind of like it if you sold the Plan C. I kind of wanted people to start using that a little bit more often lately. I've just been really going hard on the Fusion Rifles, and I have a video coming out in a few days just showing you what I mean about how crazy I've been going with these Fusion Rifles lately, and I'm definitely finding a lot of fun, newfound fun in these Fusions, so hopefully you sell some Plan C for this weekend. I know a lot of people do want the Fusion Rifle Plan C, and it honestly is so much fun to use it. I really hope that he sells it for you guys this weekend. Now for my other two additional predictions, just to kind of throw them out there for Festival of the Lost, I do think that he could also easily sell the Zalo Supercell, that's kind of Halloween related and is actually pretty great, he hasn't sold that in a decent amount of time, about 10 weeks or so. And for my final prediction, I do think it'd be pretty cool if he sold Patience and Time, that's another weapon that will actually make you go invisible when you're aiming down your sights. You don't really see it too often anymore, back in year 1 a lot of people used it, and it's pretty cool because it actually has a ghillie suit built into the weapon, it just looks really awesome. And like I said, it does make you turn invisible when aiming down your sights. So it's definitely a pretty unique weapon, and hopefully they do sell one of the three that I predicted, as well as the gear. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video, guys. As usual, drop your predictions down in the comments below. I know this was a little fast, and I'm sorry. But other than that, guys, hopefully you enjoyed, and I will see you guys tomorrow for some Trials of Osiris live at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And yeah, I'll see you guys there. Peace.